So let's look a little bit closer on different light sources. So right here we have it our point light. We have it our aquatic point of light. And you notice the point and light, it's a extend the light in all directions from the single point. The difference between quadric or a standard light that is in a quadric, it's a intensity decay more rapidly as it's going away. So we can go again, maybe set to 10, so we can preview right here, or maybe even 5. So let's go right here and preset. So you can see um, on both of the slides how they're going in different directions. And I think about this as a, it's a light bulb almost. So it's going in all, all directions, rays going out. So the next, we have a spotlight. And we have the same standard spotlight. And we have a quadric spotlight. And this is from this center only going in the direction of the spotlight. Spotlight also allowed you to enable view through so you can control where the spotlight is pointing. It's sometimes very useful options. Okay, also the spotlight have it options to spread and we'll look on some of those properties. So you can have it in the how wide you want it open up to all the way 180 degrees. So as example, some of those properties is not available for the point light because we cannot spread it's already going from all directions. So the next we have our directional light. And directional light in many cases is a work as a sun. So right here you can see we have it one light and we have it same as a sun like it just like about a little bit right here. So the directional light it's going only in one direction from infinity point and it's a parallel line. So it's not spread like in every direction or cones going a little bit uh, spreading out. So they're going just parallel and they're going just in one direction from our directional light. Okay, so we have it right here, some point light. Okay, and then next also what we have it, it is a um, light panel. And light panel, it is area of the light with light emitted from every point of this object. This is kind of useful when you're creating and you can see some specific area like a, a billboard or something you want light up so you can use it, this option. So let's go enable just a little bit while America. we can preview. And this is, again, you can change the power in other options. However, you'll notice because it's emit from every point, we have it no of the softness or we don't have it any other properties that may have, have it on a spotlight or area light. You can also change the ratio by resizing this panel. So we can increase, decrease, and we can effect of the area it's affecting. Okay, the next one, it's a daylight portals. And this is relatively new in the view. It was uh, introduced a previous version. And uh, this is using to um, light up interior sense, give it more accurate light presentation. And for example, if we're going and create, and let me go very fast, just so we can go create some areas. kind of like almost small building. Okay, let me go ahead and pause tutorial and I will pre-build very fast a cube. Okay, so right here you can see I kind of built just simple box with a primitives and I put a camera inside. So you can see we have the lighting. Um, sometimes the light is a little bit less accurate what is going inside. For this case, we can use it light portals and you can see arrow showing on directions. And let's go ahead, select light portal. We can control by resizing or rotating. And we'll just take this light portal and bring right inside ours. So you will notice, okay, let's bring just slightly down and fill up right here.
Okay, so by placing here, we can help um, specify for the view ways are better to render in specific duration and they work very well for internal. So for example, right here, you can look just slightly on a light profile. This is with a light panel enable. This is with light panel disable. You can see right here, we have lighting artifacts that creating by different lights. So with the light panel, it's rendered a little bit faster and it's also create more accurate lighting inside the scenery. And uh, you can place it. I have some additional tutorials how we did this one create like kitchen render and you put it light panels and the windows or other areas and you create those directional um, daylight portals that's simulating nice light coming into the inside the building from windows. There also one thing to notice they don't produce necessary light this way. All what they do they take value of the sky and light outside and redirect and apply this in the direction. So in some cases, how say it's portal, let's take all this light and redirect all the settings in specific direction from the window. So it's provided more accurate um, lighting calculations. There also beside all of these lights, we have another one. So and for this one, I'm just going to delete all and we'll just have it one small object right here so the other light object we can create it which is does not display from our drop down it's almost on any object you can go and you can select convert to area light so let's go ahead we can enable and you notice right here now this has become our object so it's become our light object and this has worked very well if you take a text and you can create some of the neon lighting sites. So let's say, for example, we have the wall right here. Okay. Let's go to create um, text. And let's take our main camera. And point a little bit more towards. Okay, also what we can do with materials. So let's go ahead actually preload some more metallic look. Okay. And then we can go right click and say convert to the area light. So now my objects, they'll become, okay, let's make a little metric so we can see, they will become more as an area light so I can produce and project. So next I can put it up front and they will create like almost light creating shadows. So right here you can see we're creating this light area from the text so you can create easy neon light signing or other things by using this so this is kind of our other light object that can produce lights inside the view one other interesting options to kind of look that we we'll look on the lights and we we'll look like right here spotlight and we we'll look on a power where this can create it but notice you can also go on a negative power and you notice what this effect does it's almost like a black hole it's take some of those rays of the light and the subtract removing them. So if you need to create kind of more intensive shadows in some cases, like right here, see we're overwhelmed with the lights. And you know, let me open camera and remove after exposure so we can preview a little bit better. So you can see right here where I have a negative light putting, it's creating this dark spot. So in some cases, if you want create um, stronger shadows or stronger effect, you can create a negative light. Um, one thing just to keep it in mind, it is will create an almost like overlay effect in Photoshop. So some saturations can be wrong. And um, in this case, you always want to just remove some lightings or apply um, correct lights to this. So for example, if this one, We'll probably want to go and create a little bit more 
view so right here you can see how effect because it's negative it will affect slightly differently this way okay and if we go red it will create a little bit blue again the values is changed because we have the negative power but overall it's keep it in mind so you don't necessarily can have it positive you can have negative power which is kind of take it some race away from the lining